baby. <laughs> Let's see what's in your dock box. What kind of treasures we got in here? Dude, I love treasures. Like kayaking, fishing. If you don't want to wear a vest, you can wear this. The sun comes out, and apparently, yeah, so does she. This come custom? Yeah. Special order? Does that come in orange? I swear we're almost done with projects. It's been on the dock for a while. The roller track. The old plastic welder did not work too well. He ended up making it worse. We're drilling a hole. Yeah, that's a big hole. I have a drain. Did something fall in the water? It did. I swear we're almost done with projects. <laughs> almost done. I did mention, I think, one of the last videos, we had some little minor stuff here and there. Now is the little minor stuff here and there. It's been on the dock for a while. The roller track. If you know C-Ray or you've been with C-Ray for a while, for a long time, you have a couple different door track systems. Most of you know these trucks very well. Or if you're familiar with these trucks and these sliding tracks, you know they don't last very long. Or well, they last a long time-ish. Ish. Ish is subjective. But the two roller tracks or two roller trucks that were in the bottom blew out. So, and the, oh crap, what's it called? Center guide. I forget the name of it. I'll put it at the bottom of the screen. The track or the piece that goes, fits onto this, was broken. It was cracked. It's supposed to... Sorry, it's supposed to be like that. Could plastic weld it, but it's not gonna hold very well. So, let me set you down. I need two hands. We ordered two new trucks. They're like trucks, pickup trucks. What it was, what it's supposed to look like. I don't know if you can see it or not. And apparently these new wheels are supposed to have some ball bearings in them. And that's what I took out. That's what I got. And a brand new piece. Unfortunately, this is not cut to length, so I may have to cut this to length, but I did get a little extra longer piece. So that much is going to overhang in the back, which I believe I have that much room because this door starts here and it slides all the way back to about here. But the wall, there's a wall in there. I believe that wall is down here somewhere. Enough to chat. Let's get on with this small little project. All the holes are drilled holes and I had to drill the holes in the center for the trucks. All it's left to do is get this piece on the bottom. So we have to slide this, get this door out of that track. Should be another fun little adventure. Do a little time lapse. in pinch my fingers a little bit look at those meat cleavers good lord it's in the holes aren't lined up yet but i did forget to mention if you're looking at this video for instructions i'm sorry you may have come to the right place you may have not but i did have to forget when i took that off i did have to undo the upper truck to get this to be able to flex up so now we have to try to line up these holes here and to fine tune it, it's gonna be a pain in the butt and I can't get my arms all the way back there. Another time lapse, I'll figure it out.
done everything except for this. I'll tackle that this weekend. So I had to take the door out of the track again because the screws that were holding are going through the seed track. I'll just call it the seed track because I don't remember the name for it. Uh, those weren't countersunk far enough in and it was holding the door up too high. And then when I did get it countersunk in or the counter sink in, whatever, the holes still weren't kind of matching up. So in the time lapse, if you saw me drilling through, I was actually drilling through the door again, just to widen it up. But we got them. Slides so nice. I didn't get this one in yet. That one's going to take some more time and I don't want to spend more time down here tonight. It's a school night. Yes, work tomorrow. But other than that one screw in this piece here, which is, who cares for right now, it slides so much easier. Oh, smooth. Bex is going to be stoked. So much easier. And I can probably lube that up a little bit. I, I did try to blow out the track, but. And we get to use the lock now when we're underway because we didn't need to before because it was so tough. It was, once you open it, it stays open. But now it's super nice. The way it should be. I do remember some of them sliding even better, but it's 1998. Now it's time to clean up my mess. Oh, I almost forgot. In other exciting news, through some random conversations, um, the houseboat that was next door to us this year, or last year, uh, the owners of that are keeping it at their property this year, down towards Haynes Point. Currently, right now, they just have this little guy, and he doesn't want this slip anymore. Lars has always wanted this slip because he's looking for a bigger boat. So I hooked those two guys up, and I think starting this weekend, sorry, let me get out of the wind. So starting this weekend, I believe Lars is moving over. They're trading slips. It's all official. They did all the paperwork this week. So Lars will be our new neighbor. And this guy is taking Lars's slip. So uh, yeah, pretty stoked about that. We've been talking about this for over a little over a year. It's like, oh man, I wish we could get you that slip. Never thought this houseboat would leave. And everything just kind of worked itself out. Now Lars is really, now that he's secured the slip, now he's really in the hunt for a big boat. So see what he gets anyway uh sorry for the little impromptu another boat project this one this weekend it's gonna go on the back of the boat uh i need to run and go get some stainless screws i need to get some i thought i had some but these are holes are a little too big i'm going to run to ace pick up some screws and drill those holes in here on saturday and then i think that is going to be the last of the projects until they're not give it a day oh you don't want to be fun. This is We're on her demo boat. Her, her brand new boat. Almost. It looks like some red shit. What are the trailer switches mean? Brings your trim all the way up. Brant, huh? this come custom? Yeah. Special order? Yeah, isn't that nice? The snow fence? Yeah. <laughs> That's to keep risky, bro. Does that come in orange? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it probably works. Keep the dog from falling out. Alright, Brent, you ready? Yeah, you can take off. It's kind of fair, DJ. Alright. Pop the clutch.
the old plastic welder did not work too well. It ended up making it worse. Apparently this stuff's not normal plastic. I'm not sure what it is, but instead we just cleaned it up and I found some white duct tape, which you can't even really tell. And it sturdied it up a little bit, a little bit better. It looks a lot better. So that's it. Boat on a budget. I forgot to start recording. We're drilling a hole. That's a big hole. And the battery's kind of dying. This is the mount for the other table, or for that table. The second mount. The other mount was over there, as we saw. And yes, it is safe. You can't quite see there. I didn't bring it. You can kind of see the drill bit moving. Just praying the battery doesn't die. We're through 90% of it. Yep, yeah, gonna have to change the battery. This battery's not much better. We're getting close. I can see it cutting through on the other side. And it's been getting dark. Playing the battery roulette. Oh, there it is. There she is. Whee! Well, no turning back on that one. That's a done hole. Do a little, little vacuum. It'll eventually blow its way out somewhere. And then this bad boy will sit like so. We'll drill some holes, seal it, done. What happened, Dwayne? Um, did, did something fall in the water? It did. Um, um, a drill bit, a very expensive drill bit that I was using for something that I shouldn't have been using it for. And it was a Christmas present. It wasn't just one drill bit she gave me. She gave me a whole collection. And now I have one drill bit that's missing out of that collection. Yeah, it's so mucky. We're not So that's anything. where my Uncle Alex's hammer is at. No, we didn't drop his hammer. So what I'm hoping <laughs> is that. Um, because I do have, when it gets daylight tomorrow, uh -huh. the magnet on a string. All hope is not lost. Well, good luck. All right, moment of truth. Perfect. Yep. All right. Let's see. Uh, I have to adjust that nut there, but we'll adjust the nut to keep it from swiveling so easy. She's a little wobbly in there. We won't keep this on overnight because we'll let this 42 set up, but we go pew, 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 ground, pew, 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 store, pew, 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 pew. A drink, you yeah. know, yeah, we can't hear you because you're not wearing a mic. What she's saying is it can be real nice, real nice. There we go. We'll come back in the morning and uh, see how well that's set up. I'm going to tighten that bracket off camera. It's kind of boring, but all right, we'll check back with you in the morning. Lars, your boat is lonely. Good morning. It's the next day. Uh, let's check the table out. So I already put it in. Tighten up this bracket. Lean it forward. Yeah, I mean, you're still a little wobbly. I don't know how you would ever stop that wobble. Maybe somebody's got an idea or a comment. The turning is nice and stiff now. Yeah. I consider this project done. There's Larzy's new boat over there. So I'm going to go on to the next project. I'm not going to bore you with this one. So I think I see the drill bit. Let's say it's caked in 4200. Let's go fishing. All right. What do we got here? I think the YouTube channel is to go fishing for treasures. I'm going for fishing for treasure that I lost. There it is. Sealed and protected. It's pretty much gonna be a loss anyway. At least I got it. Yeah. You wanna uh, set that just on the table downstairs. See what else is down there we can, it's magnetized. 
Now I don't have a missing drill bit set. It's once again complete. This is where the tables are being off. Perfect. The chef mastery board. Well, I'm talking to myself and about how, how cool this is that the table's already paying off. <music> Lars is still trying to buy that boat over there. I thought for sure that they would be moving this boat out and Lars would be moving in, but I remember Lars's boat you can see it's way yeah you can't see it i'll need to get the zoom camera he's got his other boat still in his old slip so this guy can't move into his old slip so lars moves the old boat probably pulled out of the water the new boat whatever the sun comes out and apparently uh so does she it's moving day for lars is this guy on his way you're staying here, puppy. Yeah, it's not uh, as easy as the in and outs over there. Now we just sit here and watch you tie up. Oh, did he take that? No. Yeah, I told him it was his. Yeah, so at least you can have a little bit of a boat. Let's see what's in your dock box. What kind of treasures we got in here? Oh. Life jackets for the whole family. Lars, there's even some new line in here for you. Dude, I love treasures. Treasures are fun. The shore power cord's a big, big winner. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, leave it. Oh, that's expensive. Are you done? That's a throwable. Yeah. No, that's a fucking belt inflatable. Inflatable, yeah. That's a good find. It's a life vest. You pull the cord. You pull a cord and it inflates you. Why wouldn't you? Like kayaking, fishing. If you don't want to wear a vest, you can wear this. Mm -hmm. That's a score. Score. <laughs> that was way at the bottom. A new throwable. That's good. Well, let's just pull it all up. Yeah, these vests are all going to St. Vinny's. I don't know, this one looks pretty vintage. <laughs> just a buttload of line. I'm gonna use it. I don't need any more vests. There's a kid, a kitty one. Ooh, new throwables. That's nice. Okay. No line is garbage. Dwayne, you never know. Hey, use it for your raft when you're tied up and you float. Looks like up though. This rope. So I only see one decent rope in there, and that's this rope. That's usable. I hate this style of rope. Got an end on it anyway. Only one, only one super good find. 
It's a, you wear it around your waist if you don't want to wear a life jacket. If you don't want to wear a life jacket, you wear it around your waist or whatever. And then if you fall in or get stranded or in trouble, you just yank the cord and poof, plates. Sweet. Now watch it go off. Oh, it's sprinkling. Is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We gotta change battery. We're running low. Right, ratchet, ratchet. Nope. What are you doing? I was gonna move that cleat there where I can use it because these things are spread so far apart. I want one like right here. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. But it's too tight, I can't move it. Actually, just tighten that one up and just run a second one from there to here. You want to tie that one on there? I don't know if you don't want to do that. Well, just for now. I'm gonna put my, my bumper in. Are these going to be your permanent lines where you just leave them on the dock? The, the ones with the bungees in are, yes. Look at those cute little, little uh, snubbers. They work. Here, I'm putting this on my table. Well, if we don't find her handsome, we'll find her handy. I'm not, I'm not pretty. I'm not. You're not putting me to work. This is your job. Ours is good at coming in and delegating. Say, hey, why don't you take care of this for me? Before you know it, you'll be buffing the boat by the end of the day. Throw it away. Away. Those are garbage lines. You might be able to find a wrench in there. Maybe. I don't know if I brought a big enough one. Get drop my tools in the lake, boy. We're saying bye to the Johansons. We're going home. <laughs> That's my future. Yeah. I don't like the, not necessarily that boat, but yeah, a boat of that size. I'm not going way down there. <laughs> Thanks, babe. Thanks a lot. Well, that's going to do it for this video, folks. See you next week when it's supposed to be nice and warm. Take a huge dope? No! <laughs>